The Black Caps have beaten England by an innings and 65 runs in the first test at Mount Monganui. The agonising super overdraws in recent one day and 2020 games have finally been overcome with New Zealand's biggest ever single innings score against their major rivals. Man of the match, BJ Watling's career best double century, Neil Wagner's eight wickets and Mitchell Satner's maiden century were the highlights. And Satner's three key wickets for 53 ones was also his test career best and he took a stunning catch in the field today. Alex Perite caught up with him shortly after the final wicket and asked him if it was the match of his career. <laughs> um, yeah, probably not far off. No, I think it was, it was, I guess, through the win was through a lot of hard work. You know, the batters put in, um, you know, day three and day four and it was obviously nice to get a, a couple of wickets last night but, you know, it was toil today and, um, you know, the lads backed up spell up and spell and, and got a few few deserved wickets in there and it was nice to get the win. Yeah, but you had a crucial role to play getting that century alongside uh, BJ Watling's double ton, but probably even more important perhaps are those three crucial wickets uh, before close of play last night. How important was that? Yeah, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. Um, you know, that we had a nice lead, but the pitch was still, you know, pretty good to battle. It was, I guess, a little bit up and down and it was taking a bit of spin, but yeah, I think it was pretty key to get, you know, a couple of early poles there and um, especially when the ball was new. We knew when the ball was getting softer, it's, you know, it's going to be harder to, to get the batsman out. So, um, and I guess when the second new ball came round, you know, Waggy put on an unbelievable spell there and swung a couple back and, and got some late wickets, which, you know, which he well deserved. Yeah, now look, a uh, lot of attention given to this match, given what's happened between the two teams in the last six months. Uh, thank God they don't have super overs in, in test matches, <laughs> but uh, was it was it all the more sweet uh, getting this win against England? Yeah, it's, it's you know it's never easy to beat England. Um, you know, last time we came here, the pink ball, you know, it was swinging, which was nice. So yeah, it's, it was it was a hard fought test match, and it was you know it was a great win. Um, you know, any any win on day five and. You know, is, is a good one. So, yeah, we, knew, we know they're going to come back fighting at, at Seton Park. We obviously don't know what the wicket's going to do there, but I guess we'll do, you know, something similar and, and hopefully go again. You've all been in just scorching form, uh, you know, this year. Amazing performances in all formats of the game. Uh, you're heading home to Seton Park, uh, Hamilton. You and BJ uh, looking to have the uh, the home advantage there. I mean, do you, do you just sort of, uh, you, you can never count your chickens against England, but it's looking good. Yeah, well, it's, like you said, they're never an easy team to beat. Um, so that was nice in that respect, you know, to get the win today. It was through a lot of hard work, but, you know, it's it's a new game at Seton Park. We probably don't know what the pitch is going to do. It, you know, it, it has been green in the past, but, you know, I'm not sure what, we, what it's going to go this time around. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But I think, you know, you know, we're in a pretty good spot at the moment. You know, the lads are, are fighting pretty hard, and, you know, that's, it's never easy to win um, when, the, when the wickets get, get flat like they have been in New Zealand. So, um, yeah, we're obviously looking forward to having a few days off and, and then guns blazing come Friday. And then shortly after that, another short turnaround and you're across the ditch. Uh, some some uh, big tests in some amazing places there in Australia at that Boxing Day test at the MCG. What, what's the biggest thing? I mean, not looking too far ahead, but what, what's the biggest danger there uh, playing Australia at the moment? Yeah, it's, you know, they're, they're um, a very good team at home. Um, you know, their bowlers, you know, that that little bit of extra bounce is probably going to be the big thing, you know, we're not used to as much here. So, you know, we have to adapt uh, pretty quickly. And it's the start of, you know, I guess a, a five, five, you know, test, test matches for us, which is, you know, not easy for, for everyone involved. So, you know, hopefully we can um, go well again at Seton Park and then, and then you know, move on past the, the series and, and go again, look forward to, to playing a, a tough Aussie team at home. Uh, uh, an amazing performance by you and the team. Uh, just before you go, Mitchell, take us through that uh, screamer of a catch, that classic catch to dismiss Pope today. What was going through your head, if anything? <laughs> <laughs> I was just happy to be, you know, in, the, in a catching spot, you know, um, rather than being on the fence. I was pretty tired, to be fair, bowled a few overs. But, yeah, it was, I guess it was one of those ones that stuck out the right and it, and it, and it stuck. So, um, yeah, you know, it was at the start of... A, a very good style from Wags, and we knew that you know um, it's not it's not easy to start on a wicket like that. So if we could get you know a wicket every now, and, you know we knew they're going to build partnerships at some stage. So, um, but you know we were able to go bang bang a couple of times, which was pretty key. And that was Mitchell Satner there with Alex Perrottet, and I'm not sure who was more excited, Mitchell or Alex. <laughs>